second thing i'll tell a well controlled comorbidity suppose a patient of hypertension he is on treatment <clears throat> maybe as inhibitor maybe beta blocker and the blood pressure is well under control the risk factors are under control he is on statin and re on regular follow up in that case with a proper lifestyle uh, measurement the, the 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 total inflammatory parameters may be normal also so in that case though there is a comorbidity the risk of the patient for having a turbulent course may not be severe may not be very high uh, in comparison to the person who has very poor control of the comorbidity that we have to keep in our mind and also we have to uh, see at the point of diagnosis that how the patient behaves presentation wise what is the inflammatory markers in the patient and what is the risk of him passing on to uh, moderate or severe state as pointed by the hypoxemia and uh, the thromboembolic risk factors and other uh, parameters as we decide from time to time. So uh, you are very right in the sense that we, once we see a patient, at least basic level of CRP we should do. And uh, also in them who have other risk factors, suppose a diabetic, it, it's mandatory that we control the blood glucose. Many people we have seen uh, with diabetic ketoacidosis, many people we have seen very poor control and many non-diabetic have developed stress-induced diabetes because of the steroid, because of the stress of the disease, stress of the treatment in the ICU and uh, stress-induced hyperglycemia had very adverse outcome in comparison to the patients who had hyperglycemia known because of type 2 diabetes diagnosed prior to the COVID-19. So in such a situation, controlling the comorbidity, comorbidities and uh, monitoring the inflammatory parameters, both are equal important, which decides about the duration of stay, which decides about the additional uh, medications and which decides about prediction of prognosis of the patient and that guides us regarding uh, the directing the patient to the right ward which uh, may be very beneficial for further follow-up of the patient.